Hey folks, this is Shock, and as you know, I've challenged the number one most subscribed to atheist on YouTube, The Amazing Atheist, to a debate, and he's afraid to debate me. He won't debate me. Um, and it seems to be a pattern that atheists are afraid. Um, now, did you guys see the debate between Ray Comfort and Thunderfoot, where Thunderfoot lost the debate? If you click right below this video, go to shockonow.net, click links at the top, L-A-N-K-S, links, you'll see the debate where Thunderfoot loses. Even the Atheist Experience shows Matt Dillahunty admitted that Thunderfoot did horrible. It is clear that Thunderfoot lost that debate. So atheists are really good at losing debates, but they're also good at chickening out of debates. Do you know, I want to read this to you. It says, this article, you can see this right below this video, Christian philosopher William Lane Craig is ready to debate, but he finds few challengers. It says, American evangelical theologian William Lane Craig is ready to debate the rationality of faith during his UK tour this fall, but it appears that some atheist philosophers are running shy of the challenge. For example, Polly Toynbee backed out of an agreed debate. She chickened out. She's the president of the British Humanist Association. Now, I want you atheists to, to ask yourself, why would she chicken out? Because she knows she would lose the debate. Atheism is not rational. It's a bankrupt worldview. Look, she chickened out of the debate. The article goes on to say... Um, Responding to Toynbee's cancellation, you know, where she chickened out, Craig commented, these folks, atheists, can be very brave when they're alone at the podium and there's no one there to challenge them. But one of the great things about these debates is that it allows both sides to be heard on a level playing field and for the students in the audience to make up their own minds about where they think the truth lies. And this is why I love debating. We've done over 50 debates. All 50 debates were lost by atheists. Christian theism won those debates. See, it appears that the atheist thinks Santa Claus and leprechauns and teapots orbiting Saturn proves atheism is true, and it doesn't. It does prove, however, that it's madness. See, the atheist cannot defeat the ontological argument, the cosmological argument, the teleological argument, object to moral values and the historicity of Jesus Christ. They can't do it. All they have is their obsession with unicorns, Santa Claus, leprechauns, and teapots orbiting Saturn or the Earth or wherever they put the teapot. Now look, Craig goes on to talk about how Dawkins was afraid to debate. Um, Dawkins actually is afraid to debate and there's a big controversy in the British press where Daniel came accused Dawkins of simply being, look what it says, afraid. Dawkins is afraid and even this atheist Daniel came says the absence of a debate with the foremost apologist for Christian theism is a glaring omission on your CV and is, of course, apt to be interpreted as cowardice. You know, I have challenged the amazing atheist to debate, and he's afraid to debate. Remember we challenged Penn Gillette from Penn and Teller? He's afraid to debate. Um, they just reject their your debate challenge. Um, see, it's like Craig said when he said, um, these folks can be very brave when they're alone at the podium, and there's no one there to challenge them. Guys, this is one of the reasons I have to confess to you. I, I was an atheist, and I left atheism. It's just extreme cowardice. It's a bankrupt worldview. The proof and evidence is clearly on the side of Christian theism. You know, I even challenged the Atheist Experience Show to provide us proof and evidence that atheism is accurate and correct, and all they can do is talk about unicorns obsessively for over like four or five minutes. And then uh, Matt Dillahunty talked about a unicorn in a box. And look, click below this video and you'll see the Atheist Experience Show. They're talking about unicorns and cardboard boxes. And it's just, it's just ridiculous. So now, um, it, it really is awesome to see Christian theism really winning over the world. We're the largest number one force for good. Um, why atheism has even been declining worldwide as a whole from 2008 to 2011. If you look at the world as a whole, 
atheism is on the decline from the year 2008 to 2011. But Christianity is exploding in China and also Africa. Um, so it's just awesome. Now, I want to show you something on my blog. Let's go to my blog and check this out. If you click below this video, you can go to my blog. A lot of you guys don't know I have a blog, and um, I want to show you something. This is awesome. Let's go to August. What's the date on the blog here? Let's see. Bear with me, guys. Oh, it's up higher. Okay. <clears throat> Check this out. I want to talk to you about creation.com. You really need to check that out below, creation.com. And um, check this out. This evolutionist science professors are crying to their mamas about the Question Evolution campaign. If you go on YouTube, you'll notice there's a lot of evolutionists. We call them evos, and they're running scared because of the Question Evolution campaign. It's really picking up momentum. Notice what it says. In late June of 2011, uh, CMI reported on their Question Evolution campaign. Uh, Brandon here from South Africa, he's a lecturer in the physics department um, at his university, and he said he put a few copies of the Creation magazine in their tea room. The next day, he found it lying in the rubbish bin. He said, I removed it, dusted it off, and put it on the table again. The next day, it was in the rubbish bin again. See, they're afraid of it because it points out all the errors of evolution. If you go to creation.com right below this video, you'll see all the errors of evolution. And you know, evolutionists don't like to be wrong, but clearly they're wrong about a lot of things. He said he dusted it off and put it on the table again. He said it happened three days in a row. Then he got a better idea. Every week I paste copies of the articles in Creation Magazine on my door. And since my office is next to the tea room, everyone who goes there has to walk past the office door. Now everyone will see the articles where they want, whether they want to or not, since it is on my door. No one so far has dared to remove it. Thanks so much for the list of 15 questions that will be on my door very soon. God bless. So this question evolution campaign is really picking up momentum big time. Um, let's talk about this. In 2011, the results of a study were published. I want to talk to you about that. But it says, one of the big impacts of the Question Evolution campaign and its 15 questions that evolutionists cannot satisfactorily answer is that it will definitely undermine the dogmatic teaching of evolution in classrooms plus hinder atheist proselytizing. That's the part I love. In 2011, I love that it hinders it. The results of a study was published indicating that most United States high school biology teachers, get this, are reluctant to endorse the theory of evolution in class because they know it's got major errors in it. They don't want to do it. God bless those teachers. In 2011, eight anti-evolution bills were introduced in various states within the United States which encouraged students to employ critical thinking skills, something atheists really need to learn to do, and especially if you're into evolution. You need to use those critical thinking skills, guys. Don't accept evolution just based on faith. Look at what's true. Look at what's false. In 2009, there were seven states within the United States which required critical analysis skills to be employed when examining evolutionary material within schools. Imagine how timid many biology teachers will be when they are faced with the 15 questions that evolutionists cannot satisfactorily answer. You want to see those questions? Click below this video. Imagine how many additional states within the United States are going to adopt evolution unfriendly laws. Evolution cannot bear up under critical analysis, so the effects of the question evolution campaign are going to be devastating to evolutionary belief and atheism. You know, um, I've been listening to a lot of these atheist shows, and I will tell you, they're running scared. Atheism and evolution are running scared. Let's see what else I could show you here. You, you should really go to this blog below. You can look up at our Question Evolution campaign in Texas. Um, 
massive action question evolution campaign you guys uh, see what's going on over there in Texas you see what's going on there um, you want to watch that um, so don't forget to check out our blog below and, and I want to show you one other thing if you'd like to hear some audios of debates go right here see where it says shotgunout.net right here below this video you can click it and click over here on the right where it says recent podcast see it right here or you can click up here where it says music and podcast now when you do that now when you do that this um, these different podcasts will show up with different debates that we've done um, different debates between famous people like when atheist Krauss admits that God is plausible Lawrence Krauss admits God is plausible in debate um, you'll hear that you'll talk about how evolution is driving people to believe in God because of the errors in it let's go to the next page also um, I am on iTunes so if you go to iTunes you'll hear our radio show there you can listen to atheist uh, Dennett admit that atheism does terrible things let's see what else we got here um, oh here's a debate here by atheist Peter Atkins he loses debate to William Lane Craig see this is why uh, I think Richard Dawkins is terrified to debate William Lane Craig you know Dawkins is gonna lose guys Dawkins is probably gonna talk about unicorns leprechauns and the spaghetti monster you know it's just uh, Dawkins loses either way if he doesn't debate he's looks he's like a coward and if he does debate he's gonna lose so I appreciate you guys um, watching this uh, let's go back one more page okay another thing I think you're really gonna love is when you go here click links click links let me show you this what you can get now when you go to links you can go down here you can get your own free video conference room here's my blog here's my radio show um, here's a video uh, about God here's the cosmological argument the fine-tuned argument you can get an audio Bible free here's even more proof of God and then this is really interesting this is a stereogram with the hidden image of Jesus Christ within it you know those 3d images you look at and you gotta see if you can see it this is uh, Dr. William Lane Craig on suffering this is the board Guth and Belinkin theorem which shows that clearly the universe had a beginning it is not eternal follow me on Twitter you can get another Bible for free here audio Bible go to church live um, let's see what else we got my YouTube channel facts about the evil of atheism and here it is the complete debate where Ray Comfort defeats Thunderfoot in debate um, let's see what else this is where Aaron raw I gotta show you that uh, this is where uh, you can read about Aaron raw Aaron Raw hates uh, what we're doing with the Question Evolution campaign. It says right here, the popular Christian YouTube video maker Shock of God has challenged Texas YouTube atheists Aaron Raw and Matt Dillahunty to answer the 15 questions. Uh, they haven't done so yet. For evolutionists, which are featured in Creation Ministries International Question Evolution campaign. I wasn't thinking they were going to do it. They still haven't provided proof and evidence that atheism is even accurate or correct or true. So God bless you guys. Don't forget to check out um, Question Evolution campaign. Don't forget to check out this blog. All this information is below. And also, don't forget to read this article where the atheists are afraid to debate. They're scared to death of William Lane Craig. God bless you guys. Have a great week.